Well, turning to budget matters in Washington, the debt crisis is putting Medicare and Medicaid under scrutiny. Republicans want to overhaul both programs to save money. Even the president wants to see some changes. CNN's Sandra Endo takes a look at some of the proposals and what they could mean for seniors. Here we go. Mark Get Anderson is feeding his future. How are you doing, Gozi Mommy? With hopes and dreams of a he safe, secure so life for his wife and 15-month-old son. But Anderson says the future is not so certain as he follows the budget debate playing out on Capitol Hill. He says the Republican plan to overhaul Medicare and Medicaid in 10 years is a big concern. The plan would keep anyone 55 or older in the traditional Medicare plan, but those just under 55 are on the bubble, looking at a whole new health care future. It's a little scary because I am an older dad. I'm, I'm soon to be 52 years old. In terms of health insurance companies, I am what you would call a risk. Come on, Pop. At this point, okay. it's not just me. It's also it my wife and my child. Mind. And how can we afford that extra health care? Hey, bye bye, Dad. Okay. <laughs> we need <laughs> Medicare to be there to cover um, catastrophic illness, to cover hospitalization. Under the GOP proposal, seniors would get money to buy government-approved private insurance. President Obama vows to fight any voucher system and instead proposes new ways to hold down Medicare costs and reduce spending on prescription drugs. The chief architect of the Republican plan insists Medicare needs a total rebuild. We think by having competition and choice in the delivery of, of medical care, by giving the consumer more power is a better solution. The issue hits Anderson at his core since he's an advocate for seniors, hey, visiting elderly clients throughout the day. I can bring it in for you. We need to be thinking about people, not politics. And for Mark Anderson, he says making seniors a pawn in the political game is wrong. But let's be honest, don't pretend that you're doing something courageous or serious to fight the budget deficit when almost everything that you're taking from the most vulnerable parts of our society, you're giving away to the most affluent. It's an insult. One thing Democrats and Republicans do agree on is that something has to be done to rein in the growing national debt. Entitlement programs like Medicare and Medicaid are no longer untouchable. But both parties have ideologically different approaches on how to handle the problem, with a solution likely to cause some pain to some portion of the public. Sandra Endo, CNN, Washington.